In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus calcium chloride. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have two of these ammonium ions here and just one here. So if I put a two in front of this ammonium chloride, now I have two ammonium ions. Those are balanced, but I also have two chlorine atoms. That's good though, because I have two over here. So that's balanced one calcium, one calcium, and then one carbonate and one carbonate. So this is the balanced molecular equation for ammonium carbonate plus calcium chloride. Now we need to write the state for each substance. If you know your solubility rules, ammonium compounds are very soluble. AQ, which means it's going to be aqueous, dissolve, split apart into its ions. Calcium and then chlorides, very soluble. AQ with just a few exceptions. Then we have ammonium chloride, that'll be soluble. So for calcium carbonate, carbonates in general, they're insoluble unless they're bonded to something in group one like sodium or potassium. So this is gonna be insoluble, it won't dissolve. Because of that, it'll be a solid. When these compounds here react, this falls to the bottom of the test tube, we have a precipitation reaction. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete or total ionic equation. Ammonium ion, this is one you should remember, has a one plus ionic charge. We have two of them, so we have two ammonium ions. And I won't write the states right now, let's write that at the end. Plus the carbonate ion, the whole thing has a two minus ionic charge, CO3, two minus. Calcium, that's in group two on the periodic table at two plus. Our chloride ions, they're one minus, so we have calcium ions, Ca2+, plus, plus our two chloride ions, 2Cl-. So those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products here, we have our plus and minus, so we have two ammonium ions again, and we also have two chloride ions. And then for the calcium carbonate, that's a solid. We don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so that just stays together as CaCO3. So this is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not interested in them. We have our reactants here and then our products. So I see two ammonium ions in the reactants and two in the products. I can see two chloride ions in the reactants and in the products. Cross those out. Everything else is unique, and that gives us our net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus calcium chloride. Let me clean this up. I'll add the states in. We'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for NH42CO3 plus CaCl2. You know, charges conserved. We have this two minus and this two plus. They balance out, give us a net charge of zero. Our calcium carbonate, that has a net charge of zero. It's a neutral compound. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion put first. It doesn't really matter. It's the same net ionic equation. Maybe it looks a little nicer. Either way, this is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ammonium carbonate plus calcium chloride. Thanks for watching.